The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom added a lot of new mechanics and abilities that allow players to interact with the land of Hyrule in never before seen ways. While all of Link's new abilities in Tears of the Kingdom are excellent, by far the most useful in combat is the Fuse ability. Fuse allows players to combine weapons with just about any item in the game for various effects. The most reliable fusions in combat, however, are created when combining multiple powerful weapons and items together. Here are the top 10 best fusion combinations we've found in Tears of the Kingdom. Number 10. Bokoblin Arms Fused with Bokoblin Arms The Bokoblin Arm has a base damage of 20. Adding another Bokoblin Arm to it will increase the damage by another 20, meaning that the total damage of the weapon is 40. Bokoblin Arms are great since you can acquire them so easily in the early hours of the game, since Bokoblins and Moblins spawn at night all over the map and are easily taken down by destroying their heads. While the Bokoblin Arm fusion may break pretty quickly, the damage done is absolutely worth it if you've got nothing else on hand. Plus, you can further increase the damage of all bone weapons with certain armor sets, so you can end up dealing massive damage with little effort. Number 9. Weapons Fused with Ancient Blades Ancient Blades are by far one of the most powerful items you can fuse a weapon with. They'll add an additional 50 damage to your weapon, but the damage rating hardly matters since they instantly kill whatever enemy you hit with them, with the only exceptions being bosses. The reason they're so low on this list, however, is due to the fact that they can only be used one time, and when you hit an enemy with one, you aren't able to collect any of the monster parts that they would normally drop. Because of this, it's a good idea to save them for stronger monsters that you may have difficulty defeating. Number 8. Weapons Fused with Soldier Construct Horns Soldier Constructs are extremely powerful and found anywhere that Zonai Constructs are found. These items have several different tiers, with the Soldier Construct 4 Horns dealing the most amount of damage. Soldier Construct Horns are excellent fusion items since they're so plentiful and can add a good deal of damage on top of already powerful weapons. We're including Flux Construct Cores in this entry since they're essentially the same type of item and are even more powerful versions of the Soldier Construct Horns. Number 7. Spears Fused with Spears If you're looking for a strong weapon with absurd range, look no further. Fusing two spears together will allow you to have more damage than a regular spear, while also giving you a ridiculous amount of reach. This means that you can stay out of the range of enemies without needing to use a bow. Another amazing aspect of spear-to-spear -spear fusion is the fact that they can attack so quickly. Unfortunately, spears tend to break pretty quickly, so make sure that you've got a few different melee options if you're using a spear fused with another spear. Number 6. Weapons fused with Molduga Bones. Molduga Jaw Bones deal excellent damage, which means that they can make a powerful weapon hit even harder. The only downside to using the bone is that you'll need to kill a Molduga in order to get one, which can be a tricky undertaking. Once you actually do have a Molduga Jaw Bone, however, fuse it with any of your weapons and you'll add an additional 32 attack power to it. Since the jaw is a bone, its attack stat can be enhanced even further with the Evil Spirit and Radiant Armor sets, just like the Bokoblin Arm weapon mentioned earlier. Number five. Gloom weapons fused with other weapons. Gloom weapons are dropped anytime you kill Phantom Ganon. Although the fight against the spirit can be difficult, the gloom weapon rewards are incredible since each weapon does upwards of 40 base damage. The only problem with gloom weapons is that you'll take gloom damage if you use them. One way to get around this, however, is by fusing the gloom weapon to any other weapon, since you'll add the gloom weapon's high damage stat to it and be able to use it without taking any gloom damage. Number 4. Zora Weapons Fused with Monster Parts Zora Weapons have a special skill called Water Warrior, which means that they deal double damage if Link is wet. If you fuse a high damage monster part to it, you'll be able to deal excellent damage that gets doubled when wet. Considering some monster parts are pretty easy to find, this can be a very powerful weapon in the early hours of the game. You'll just need to make sure that you have some splash fruit handy if there are no bodies of water around. If it starts raining, however, you know what weapon to pull out. Number 3. Garuda Weapons Fused with Monster Parts Garuda weapons work similarly to Zora weapons. They have an ability that doubles their damage, but unlike Zora spears that require you to be wet to get the damage boost, Garuda weapons deal double damage whenever they're fused to something. Since Garuda weapons already deal a fair amount of damage, it means that you can easily get your weapon damage stat into the 80s and above if paired with the right monster part. Garuda weapons are found all over the Gerudo desert, and every Garuda weapon has this ability, so it's a good idea to stock up on them whenever you can. Number 2. Weapons fused with silver 
Lizolfo parts. Silver Lizolfo horns add 34 damage to any weapon that they're fused to. While there are plenty of monster parts that add even more damage than that, Silver Lizolfos are found pretty commonly throughout Hyrule, which means that players should have easy access to a fair amount of their horns. An additional 34 damage is nothing to turn your nose up at, since it can easily turn any run-of-the-mill sword or club into a high damage weapon. Plus, monster horns are pretty sturdy, which means that you'll be able to use it for a good long while before it breaks. Number 1. Weapons fused with the Silver Lionel Saber Horn. The best item to fuse to your weapon in Tears of the Kingdom is the Silver Lionel Saber Horn. The horn adds an additional 55 damage to a weapon and is sturdy enough to get you through a handful of fights. If the weapon you fuse it to is a Gerudo weapon, that's going to be guaranteed to break 100 damage. You can find Lionel parts from defeating any Lionel, but if you want the Silver Lionel Saber Horn, you'll need to take on a Silver Lionel, one of the most difficult enemies in the game. While you may spend some resources to get the Lionel's parts, they're absolutely absolutely worth it since the horn will allow you to cut through even the toughest enemies. That is our list of the 10 best weapon fusions in Tears of the Kingdom. Did we miss an incredible fusion? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to remember to subscribe to Dual Shockers and click the bell icon to never miss a video.